My name is Becky Ruby. I am the Director of Religious Education at UUSG. So you all may be wondering um, what I'm doing in the pulpit. Um, I have that same question. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Um, so today, um, when Rev Scott said that he was out with COVID, I offered to step in and, and talk about um, some recycling and just some green things that I'm really passionate about. and. Um, Staff thought I was joking. They're like, we thought you just wanted to talk about garbage. <laughs> um, so I shared with them and I'll share with you that uh, children and garbage are two of my passions. <laughs> so I don't know, that's some, yes, that's, I realize how weird that sounds, but um, show of hands, has anyone here heard of the story of stuff? It's a website. Okay, so I love story of stuff. Uh, I think they have some excellent videos. Um, my favorite one is actually called The Story of Stuff. I encourage you all to check it out, but it's about 20 minutes. Um, so bottled water costs 2,000 times more than tap water. So one of my favorite things is they compare that to a sandwich. Would you pay 2,000 times more for any other item? How about a $10,000 sandwich? So that really puts things in perspective. Um, and people are buying more than a half a billion bottles per week, and that amount would circle the globe. How many times do you think? Shoot out some numbers. Oh, four. That's a really, really good, good guess. Just a little bit more. Six. A little bit less. <laughs> Woohoo! Five. Yes. Way too many times. Thank you, Lainey. Yes. Um, okay. So that was the highlight of that video, in my opinion. So I'm going to talk about um, the benefits of, of recycling and what more we can do. So everybody here will probably agree with me that recycling is good. Um, however, recycling is really a last resort. So what we really need to do is rethink our habits. We need to reuse we need to choose our purchases more carefully. We need to really evaluate everything that we, that we purchase before we make that purchase. And that's where the change is really gonna happen. So let's start simple. Um, we're not buying anything, we're just in our homes. Um, what, what can you do in your home to help, to help the planet? Compost. Compost, excellent. Yes. Reusable water bottles, yes. Oh, plant trees, yes. That wasn't even on my list. I'm thinking inside the house, but that's awesome. Yes, back there. Reusable bags. Yes, reusable bags, awesome. Oh, yes, that was on my list. Turn off the lights, yes. So when you walk out of a room, you turn off the lights. Um, what about when you're brushing your teeth? Yes, yes, we turn off the water. Row. Three showers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about this for a second. Those of you with children of any age, uh, these kids really like their showers. So uh, it's fun to set a timer and uh, make them aware of how long they are actually in that shower or to, you know, to give them that goal of getting in and out of the shower. Uh, before you've used all the water for all the fish. Well, be a vegetarian. Yes, and that is a great answer. And that's, I could talk for hours about this, but I'm trying to cram this into 15 minutes, so I'm not going to get into the details on that. But yes, that is a really great way to help save the planet. Larry. Yes, yes, especially the individually packaged things and they have their place and I will admit we buy bottled water, but a case lasts us at least a year, you know there's you know your son goes on a field trip he needs a bottle of water you don't want to lose your your nice bottle that type of thing everything has its place, but my point is to get you thinking about when it's appropriate. So we've got turn off lights, turn off water, short showers. Um, how about laundry? 
When we do our laundry, what can we do? Excellent. Any other suggestions? Cold water. Yes, yes. Everything. I wash everything in cold. Um, and part of that is because I'm cheap, but you know, it works. It's green too. So it's got two benefits. Will? Drive an electric vehicle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Draw your clothes outside. Yeah, those are great ideas. Excellent. Okay. So here's. Oh, go ahead. That's right. That's right. Especially jeans. We never wash jeans. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Um, and and hoodies. You know, unless unless they've got something unidentifiable on them, you just wear them again. All right. So, what do you think um, when you throw something away? What happens to it? Yeah. It, it can go into the ocean. Yeah. Where is a way? So we we are so lucky. We live in such a civilized society that you know we're done with something. We have no use for it anymore. We just throw it away, and then we don't have to think about it or worry about it. No big deal. It's no longer our problem. We threw it away. Where is a way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my mom was telling me when she was a little girl that she remembers driving with her dad to the dump. They took their garbage from their house, put it in their car, and drove it to the dump. And I'm thinking, wow, if we had to do that, I wonder how much of our consumption would decrease if we were that responsible for everything we we used i think we need to go back to that personally <laughs> um all right how about uh let's talk a little bit about plastics so when we throw plastics away how long do you think they take to break down they don't break down Right, right. So plastic is not biodegradable. It never breaks down. So every molecule of plastic produced since 1907 is still present in our environment. In the ocean, plastic bottles can take about 450 years to break down. Fishing lines are estimated at 600 years. And the UV rays, they, they do eventually turn it from its original form, but into smaller pellets. So it's still there. It's just not recognizable from its original, its original form. So let's see, let's advance the slide. I don't even remember. Oh, okay. So let's talk about silverware. So plastic silverware. If you are going to a picnic, what do you think you're gonna use? Yeah, most likely it's going to be plastic silverware. Um, do you think it's a good idea to use to use a to use silverware that you're going to use one time and then and then what happens to it? Yeah, then we throw it away, which wherever that is, that doesn't really exist, does it? Okay, so one thing we can do is um, is be the be the hero or be the strange person however you view it <laughs> at the picnic that brings silverware and if you don't want to take your your everyday silverware um, because if you're anything like my family it will probably end up getting thrown away at the picnic i'm sure there's lots of silverware in our uusg garage sale available <laughs> for purchase um, you can easily pick up some some extra silverware that isn't you know important to you or meaningful to you, and you can use that as your you know picnic set. Um, another area you can cut down on plastics is skip the straw. You know a lot of restaurants that you go to they automatically bring your drinks to the table with straws in them. Ask your server, let your server know. It's hard to remember. It's like trying to remember to bring your bags to the store, but ask your server to skip the straw. 
And if it is a restaurant where you notice every tray of drinks filled with straws, ask to talk to the manager. Just ask them to consider, you know, make straws available upon request. You don't have to eliminate them, but let's not assume that every single person wants a straw. Um, also, when you are doing carry out, you can ask to not have any napkins, silverware, or you know the sauce packets, all that, all that stuff that just accumulates and piles up, and it all ends up in the landfill. So, any little bit that you can do is helpful. Um, all right, let's go to the next slide. All right, so we've got our our chasing arrows. What do those mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, somewhere, somehow, somebody might know how to recycle it. So I feel this is one of the biggest um, recycling myths that I'm going to debunk for you all right now. <laughs> that symbol does not mean it's recyclable. That symbol identifies, the number in that symbol identifies the type of plastic that is made, that the product is made from does not mean it's recyclable. It's simply an identifier for the material. All right, uh, what's my next slide? Okay, so now I'm gonna get into some alternatives um, for recycling. So plastic bags, can plastic bags be recycled? Yeah, okay, you, we're, get, we're getting a lot of mixed answers and you are all right. Um, so let me ask you another question. Can you throw plastic bags in your curbside recycling bin? No, woohoo, yes. Okay, how about, uh, I'm gonna sidetrack for a second. How about a pizza box? Oh, you guys are amazing. Pizza boxes are one of the top offenders in the recycling bins. Uh, do you guys know why they can't be recycled? Grease. Grease, exactly. Oh my gosh. I should have known my audience better. <laughs> okay, so no pizza boxes. Um, we can, here, I'm going to reach into my <laughs> stuff today. I brought bags and bags of things today, including garbage from my house. Um, so we have, so on the picture, the, the bag from Target, if you order something, that bag is recyclable, but the label is not. So if you wanna get a gold star, cut out the label and then recycle the bag. But where do you recycle the bag? We haven't gotten to that part yet. So you can recycle all of your bags. But you need to hold on to them. They can't go in your, your curbside cart because they are Tanglers. They will tangle up the sorting equipment at the facility. So what you can do, you can take your, your fruit packages, your bread bags, just shake out the crumbs, um, toilet paper, uh, cereal. I polished off the Lucky Charms last night so I could show you. This is also recyclable. Um, so all of these things, go to the grocery store. Um, Target, Meyer, Walmart, Jewel, everybody has those bins when you walk into the store for clean, dry plastic bags. So these are just some examples. Um, your newspaper bag, uh, frozen, frozen vegetables. Uh, if anybody still dry cleans, those dry cleaning bags can go in here. So these are all things that would go to the landfill, but if you're willing to to take that extra step and, and save them, you can take them to the grocery store and get them recycled. So here's a couple other uh, random items. Peanut butter jar. What do we do with the peanut butter jar? You know, that's not a bad idea. The dog would probably have a blast cleaning <laughs> this peanut butter jar. I feel like this is always the debate of, is it worth the amount of water it takes to get this jar clean? Um, so every now and then I'll just throw it in the dishwasher uh, and then I'll recycle it or I'll just pitch it. But yeah, this, this can't be recycled like this. And 
it's, it's a lot of effort to clean the peanut butter. <laughs> Um, how about the milk carton and, and crush it. Okay. So if you want to crush it, I think it will still get recycled. It's better not to crush it because again, the machinery that is sorting these items, it's going to be more easily identified if you don't crush it, which is why I brought this in today. And how about the cap? Okay, so in Geneva, this is what I know, you can recycle the cap, but if you throw these two items separately in the bin, the cap is not going to be recycled. If you put the cap on a water bottle, anything that has a screw on cap, if you secure the cap to the bottle, it will all get recycled. And even if it's a, like a glass, pickle jar with a metal lid, even though those are two different materials, you still want to put the lid on and they will both get recycled at the facility. All right, does anybody know what this is called? Clamshell, yes. So these have been on the chopping block for years. However, they are still being recycled. So just clean and dry, toss it in your curbside bin and that will get recycled. Okay, so my cereal box, back to my cereal box. Can I just throw this in the bin like this? No, well, I, I could, I could, but again, if I want my gold star, I'm gonna flatten it. So the reason for that is the, again, the equipment. It, the equipment sorts anything flat as paper. So. So paper, cardboard, you wanna break down your boxes, you want things to be flat so that it just can be more, more easily recognized by the equipment. So it's more, um, I just forgot the word. So it's more easier. <laughs> um, okay, I'm, not, I'm just gonna let that one go because I don't know what word I was trying to say there. Um, okay, here's another gold star moment. So. How about your little covers, the, the tin, like the tin foil covers to cottage cheese, yogurt, that type of thing? Yes, yeah, so that's what my ball, my, my ball in that uh, photo is. So we are little nuts in my house. And we take all of our candy wrappers, like at Christmas, when I'm making Christmas cookies from the Hershey Kisses, we save all, all of our little tiny tin foil wrappers and we ball them up. And then to keep them all together, you wrap a piece of tin foil around them when it gets to about the size of a baseball. And then you throw that in the bin and voila, it all gets recycled. So in my handy little mason jar, oh, here, you can see my Christmas candy right here. <laughs> Um, but I just throw them all in the mason jar while I'm collecting them, just rinse them off, and, uh, you know, it takes a while, it's a collection. <laughs> Here's another collection, how about batteries? What do you do with these? Rechargeable. Yeah, rechargeable batteries are the best, but I am not that good. Actually, we do have some, but um, these are not. So what do I do with these? Yes, so batteries can be recycled, well, can be properly disposed of. I'm not technically sure what they do with them, but can you throw batteries in, in your garbage? No, you shouldn't. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't know, but the batteries do leak acid into the landfills that then gets into our, our soil and our water. So yeah, batteries need to be disposed of properly. Again, in Geneva, um, our public works facility will, will take the batteries. So again, I, you know, I do my collection and then I take them all at once. So another gold star tip. How about this? Flatten it. That's right. This is my daughter with all these answers. <laughs> yeah, good job, Lainey. Yeah, we can flatten this. Um, Okay, how about, we've got this little window here. We also have these windows in some of our envelopes. Is that a problem? 
Actually, you can throw it in just like this. If you want the gold star, though, tear it out. Tear it out. Otherwise, somebody will at the facility. So, um, all right. So now I got my dog food yesterday. What do, what do I do with this paper? Do I crumple it up? Do I crumple it into a little ball? No, I, I flatten it. Yeah, I, I try to I try to smooth it out. Okay. Yeah, that would work. And then my box. What do I do with this? What do I do with the tape? Yeah, I take the tape off and I take take the um, take all the tape off, throw that in the garbage, and flatten the box and put it in flat. So, okay, I am going to talk for three more hours. <laughs> or I'm going to fly through the rest of my slides. Jeff, can I see? Can, can you just advance the slides? Let's see what else I had there. Oh, oh, K-Cups. Oh, K-Cups. Okay. I love this one. I feel bad sometimes that I ever invented the K-Cup. I don't have one. They're kind of expensive to use. I love that. By that quote by the man who invented the K-Cup. Uh, and the price for standard grounds in a K-Cup is about $40 a pound. So again, um, my being frugal makes me not even consider using a K-cup. <laughs> uh, and I, I do use the refillable pod and they're fantastic. So next. Oh, great. Okay, so these bins, I don't know if you've noticed them, they have them in the Jewel parking lot at uh, Prairie, Prairie Street Jewel. And they're, they're all over, you can Google where to find them. You can put anything in these bins and it will either be reused or recycled so it doesn't even have to be usable so my husband's old shirts from work that are covered in paint they can go in there old shoes they can go in there. Um, next slide please so these are just some other resources um, so the use again earth 911 will tell you where to recycle things that are odd that you, you if you're not sure what to do with something um, TerraCycle is an awesome company and. County of Kane, we have our own recycling center where well, they'll take electronics, they'll take, um, they take everything. You just have to look on their website. I'm happy to talk to anybody. <laughs> um, as you can see, I really love this stuff. So if you have any questions for me, I, you know where to find me, I'll be around. Um, but for now, I'm gonna wrap it up and we are gonna do Visit us at uusg.org.